What's up, gang? I'm going to do a uh, tour of the Neutral Zone new location. It's much smaller, but it actually has a pretty good feel to it. Feels like more like an arcade. One of the Pac-Mans that we built. Hopefully YouTube can study my hands. They're pretty shaky. Just got done working for the day. Some of the toys. It's a vintage toy store, a retro toy store up front in the front part of the arcade. Let's see, here's the business model. It's one fee, you can play all day long. Some more of the stuff that we build. I showed some of these in other videos, but. kind of trying to give you an idea how everything looks now compared to the way it did before. Another one of our Pac-Mans. And then we do have three pay-to-play pinball machines that are for sale. The Ghostbusters Pro, Game of Thrones Premium, and the Star Trek Pro. And I'll show you what the arcade looks like. Hi, Ralph. <laughs> I don't think he likes being on camera. Oh, we have Call of the Wild here, so I think it's, it's something different over there. Buck Hunter, Maximum Force, Police Trainer, Area 51 Site 4, Sport Shooting USA. This one's kind of fun. It's a lot like Police Trainer, though. Deer Hunting USA. And then we have the Revolution X, which is down right now. I think it has board issues. Ralph's working on it. I haven't messed with that one yet. And this one's Area 51 Site 4 uh, combo. So we got that. those two games covered. Time Crisis 2. I don't have near as many problems with this as I do the 4 at the other arcade. Let's see. We can go here. House of the Dead. WrestleFest. Golden T4. Turtles, first one. It does have an LCD. It happens around here. This is uh, Mario Brothers. I think it's a 19 and 1, but it's set to just Mario. Yeah. Gauntlet. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This one also has an LCD in it. We just have to do it around here. There's too many games, not enough monitors. Time Pilot, Jungle King, and we actually do have a Jungle King board in here. Kid Nicky, this one's in some kind of a Williams cabinet. I don't remember if I figured out what it was or not. Maybe bubbles is on one joystick. Asteroids. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Dragon's Lair. This is using a Merlin board, so it doesn't have a laser disc player. It's much more reliable. Pac-Man Galaga, Kangaroo, and then this one's a Campcom Anthology, you're alright, it's got a bunch of different games on it, so I think they're all licensed, Ultracade, and we have Space Invaders Deluxe, and this one has the uh, eight, eight games on it, oh multi-game, Sega Outrun, Afterburner, we got the two rattly cabs right next to each other. Rampage World, World Tour. And PGA Tour Golf. Virtua Tennis. Maximum Hang Time. And Return of the Jedi. We also have another one of these over at the other arcade. Star Wars Trilogy. We also have two of these. 
this one's a 19 and one had a big like 25 inch monitor in it but uh i pulled it and i'm gonna work on it it needs a new flyback kari three narc double dragon two and you can see the monitor doesn't have any red in it so i'm gonna need to change the transistor probably in the neck board if it'll ever come up you can tell this is POW here and the picture is much better on it. Robocop. Bad dudes. Also needs monitor work. Bump and jump. Over here we have Millipede. Centipede. Xevious. I think that's how you say it. I just worked on that monitor a couple months ago. And Karate Champ, Street Fighter 2, there's also a Turtles in Time over there, somebody's playing. And then a Simpsons, which we also had the LCD, so you can get a, a better look at it. It looks fine. I mean, it is what it is. You can't keep all these monitors going. It's like 150 games total, I think. And back here, we have dedicated Spider-Man. Captain America and the monitor and it's fine if you get right up on it. It's an LCD as well. Another one of those homemade cabinets. I guess it's a 60 in one. We got Star Wars Racer, two Arctic Thunders, a Rush the Rock, Vapor Tracks. We got one Cruising Exotica there and then the four Cruising World and of course three are linked and one is not. We got our virtual one of our virtual pinball machines. It's just not turned on yet. DDR. And this one is actually fruit and show. We just gotta turn it on. We made that here out of an old poker cabinet. An 18 wheeler. A fun game. And we got a quick quick and crash. A couple of ski balls. If you guys haven't seen this one, it's pretty fun. The cup explodes at the end. And then one of these, this is a Street Fighter V, I think. And yeah, it's got a X arcade panel. And this is one of those things you can buy off of the internet and pre-made cabinets for 10 times what they're worth. Uh, three count bow. This is actually just a Neo Geo with a multi-card in it. So 161 games, I think. And this is Chase HQ. The monitor looks really good on it. I don't know if you can tell in the picture. Primal Rage, Tekken 5, and that's all we got running for right now. Give me kind of a, oh, we have a little snack bar over there. But it definitely has more of an arcade feel. Got long rows of games. We're in, at the other arcade we just had, like, you know, banks of three games, but here, you know, it's much more fun to have, like, actual rows of games much more authentic feel. That's how everything looks. Thanks for taking a tour. Thanks.